Hello everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Well, do you like egg and cheese biscuits? Well, I'm making the easiest egg and cheese biscuit this morning and I can't wait to show you how to do it. And once again, I'm using this Dash Mini Pie Maker and it is wonderful and I highly recommend it. Let me show you how easy it is to make this. The first thing you do is plug it in and the light comes on and when it goes off, then it's ready to cook. Simple, huh? And then get yourself a one quarter cup measuring cup and one quarter cup of self rising flour. Make sure it's self rising flour or you're going to have to put baking powder in. Then get some butter and you want to grate in about one tablespoon and do it on the coarse side. It works better because you want to try and break it up and you want the butter to be cold. It just works better cold. Just like that. Simple. Okay. Now all you have to do is kind of uh, stir it in and try to separate the butter a little bit. And if it doesn't separate just perfectly, that's okay. It'll be all right. You want to get it coated with the flour. Just like this. So simple and so delicious. Now some people have asked me to, to make a pie with this, and I will eventually. I mean, that's what it's designed for. But really, making these biscuits is just amazing. And now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of grated cheese. You can use whatever kind you like. And you do the same thing. You just kind of get them coated in the flour. It's so easy. Making a pie is more complicated than this because you have to make the, the uh, pie crust and everything. And then get some milk. I'm using buttermilk, but regular milk works either one. And I'm going to put in just a little bit less than a quarter of a cup, but you could also use a quarter of a cup with buttermilk because it's a little thicker than regular milk. And simply and gently fold it all together until everything gets nice and wet. This method is so forgiving. Like I showed on the first video I made about this cooker, it can be a little wetter or a little drier. In fact, if it's a little wetter, it smooths out better on top. So don't be worried about that. This is such an easy and forgiving method. You just turn it over. Everything is nice and moist. And the light goes off. That means it's ready. Simple. Then all you have to do is put it into the little cooker. Just like that. No trouble. Close it up. And then set the timer for about 10 minutes. 10, 11 minutes. It's up to you. You'll see what I mean when you make a couple and you taste them because the inside stays nice and tender and moist. And then just get an egg and put it right in the middle of this little cooker. Be careful and don't get any eggshell in. All right, that's just right. Add a little salt, maybe a little pepper, however you like your eggs. This is the way I like mine. And this is so simple. And then just close it and set a timer for one minute. Now, it won't be done after one minute, but after the minute passes, you just unplug the little cooker because it's still hot. And then after another minute, lift up the top and check and see if, if the uh, egg is done to your liking. I let mine go for another two minutes to get it just the way I liked it. And cut your biscuit open, get ready to receive that beautiful egg. Now that... Uh, Three minutes have passed in total time, one minute with it plugged in, and then two minutes unplugged. This egg is perfect. At least it's the way I like it. If you like more yolk being runny, well, you pull it out a little sooner. But uh, this has a little bit of runniness left in the yolk, but it's nice and firm on top. Just like that. Just the way I like it. So there you have it. A beautiful egg and cheese biscuit. What a great breakfast this is. Well, it's time for what else? A taste. Mmm, delicious. And I can't describe the, the crisp out, outer layer of this biscuit. It's very thin, very crisp, but not dry at all. It's perfect. It's delicious. It's wonderful. Mmm, you've really got to try it. Egg and cheese biscuit. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.
Bye now.